Welcome to the deals behind the money. I'm Mary Kathleen Flynn, and I'm down at the NYSE Euronext with Deborah Farrington, who's a partner at Starvest. And Starvest was one of the big investors in NetSuite, which went public on the NYSE about 18 months ago. That's right. But a lot has changed in the IPO market since then. What are the biggest differences from your point of view? Well, it certainly has changed. First of all, in late 2007, it was all about growth and market opportunity. Today, it's really different in terms of what institutional investors are looking for and what um, companies really, the characteristics of them when they go public. It's about profitability and about business model today. So I think those are two really fundamental changes that we've seen in the market. Do you think NetSuite could go public today? Well, obviously I'm prejudiced, but I do. NetSuite is a great growth story with a huge market opportunity, but also has the ability to make growth profit trade-offs. So maybe you would have seen slightly, slightly lower growth and more profit. Uh, I'm not sure it's hard to rewrite history, but um, I think that we could have had a great IPO uh, today as well. Lately, we've started to see some venture-backed IPOs. We've had six in the last couple of months. Do you think we've turned a corner? Is the IPO market opening up again? Well, I think it is, and I think it has for a couple of reasons. Um, there are different metrics that are required now in terms of profitability, um, stability of companies, ability to make money both in bad markets and good, a long track record, and again, um, stable business model characteristics with demonstrable operating leverage. But there's a really uh, another fundamental uh, element at play here, and that is backlog. Backlog is at an all-time low. There are only 12 companies um, in the queue right now for technology companies, which is very, very low. Many of those companies have been in the queue for quite a while and have not updated their quarterly, rep um, their quarterly earnings. So I think several of those will most likely be withdrawn. The SEC recently sent a letter saying update or withdraw. Also, I think there's some um, infrastructure um, factors at play. You may remember last fall when Sequoia sent out its really infamous rest in peace good times. That put really uh, the f fear in venture-backed companies so that uh, venture-backed companies conserved cash, they did reductions in force, and really pulled back. The last thing they were going to do was to invest in the infrastructure that's required to go public in terms of finance staff, Sarbanes-Oxley experts, and, um, and reporting experts. So I think the infrastructure is not there right now. So last question, do entrepreneurs still want to go public? Is it still part of the American dream? They do. It is definitely part of the American dream. Most of the entrepreneurs that, entrepreneurs that I know that are building growth companies really have that as their eye on the prize. Going public, especially on something like the New York Stock Exchange, is a dream that people have. All right. Thank you very much, Deborah Farrington from Starvest. You're and welcome. thank you for watching The Deals Behind the Money. I'm Mary Kathleen Flynn.